Hello everyone. As we move into the spring semester, I wanted to share a few updates with you about course delivery modes, computerized exams, open educational resources, the 3M National Teaching Fellowship, a new campus-wide experiential education bursary program, and an updated website through which you may engage with me. Over the past few months, I have been working with colleagues at the Undergraduate Program Committee, the Teaching and Learning Policy Committee, and Senate to expand our spectrum of course delivery modes. My goal has been to increase flexibility for faculty members who enjoy teaching online, but who prefer on-campus assessments by expanding our spectrum to include two new delivery modes, asynchronous online with on-campus exams and synchronous online with on-campus exams. These new course delivery modes have emerged through the pandemic and have been used successfully at other Canadian post-secondary institutions. These additional options retain much of the flexibility of online learning while supporting instructors who prefer or accreditation bodies that require in-person examinations. I'm pleased to report that following consultation with both the Teaching and Learning Policy Committee and the Undergraduate Program Committee, the latter recommended these new revisions to Senate, which indeed approved them on April 19th. These will now be in effect from fall 2023. At the same time, I've been working with colleagues in ITS and the Office of the Registrar to pilot the delivery of computerized examinations on campus in a way that allows for in-person invigilation but secure and efficient delivery through Brightspace, our learning management system. Following a successful pilot with three courses during the final examination period in April, our three areas are now working together to determine whether and how the university may be able to operationally support this method of delivering examinations, whether for fully on-campus courses or online courses with on-campus exams. I will, of course, ensure to keep you updated about these developments. Next, I want to recognize the efforts of colleagues who took advantage of our new OER Adoption Grant Program, funded by the Brock University Students' Union. This aims to support faculty members who wish to displace the cost of expensive commercial textbooks with the use of open educational resources, resources that provide greater pedagogical flexibility for faculty while, of course, being free of cost for students. This inaugural cohort of OER grantees includes Kerry Cronin from Visual Arts, Scott Neufeld from Psychology, Paul LeBlanc from Health Sciences, and Stephen Kahn and several of his colleagues in Educational Studies. By adopting OER across eight courses from fall onwards, this group of colleagues will save Brock students approximately $167,000 every year, a tangible and meaningful impact, particularly for our most marginalized students who sometimes are forced to choose between things like groceries and textbooks. Now, while it is vital to respect the academic freedom of faculty members to determine which resources should be assigned for a given course, and also acknowledging that OER may not always be a viable option in every course or program area, I am delighted that we as a university have begun to better support faculty members who elect to pursue this path. Now, for instructors who are only just learning about this program now, please note that we are already planning a second round for this grant program with the deadline of September 25th. For more information, please visit the library's OER Adoption Grant Program webpage. Continuing with the theme of recognition, I want to share that our very own Kai Yu Wang from the Department of Marketing in the Goodman School of Business has just been recognized by the Society for Teaching and Learning in Higher Education with our country's highest teaching honor, the 3M National Teaching Fellowship. Kai Yu, who is also currently an experiential education faculty champion, was our Distinguished Teaching Award recipient in 2020. And I had the privilege of hearing him address our graduates at Convocation last year, where he talked passionately about the importance of attending to not just our students' intellectual development, but also to their personal growth. Kai Yu, I will note, is Brock's 13th recipient of the 3M National Teaching Fellowship. This places Brock third among all comprehensive universities, fifth among Ontario institutions, and eighth overall across all categories of universities in this country. This is a wonderful testament to the dedication of our incredible faculty to teaching excellence, and of course to your commitment to providing inclusive, supportive, and innovative learning experiences for our students. Another reflection of all of this, I think, is the efforts of our co-op, career, and experiential education team in working with our faculty experiential education champions in applying earlier this year for funding for Co-op Experiential and Work Integrated Learning, or CWIL Canada. 
we're thrilled to announce that we have just received word that Brock has received over a quarter of a, or three quarters of a million dollars in funding from SeaWorld Canada, and that includes a five hundred thousand dollar university wide bursary to support students in mitigating barriers that may inhibit their participation in work integrated learning. This program will run this spring and fall terms and will help identify some of the challenges our students currently face. Finally, and in the interest of greater transparency and accountability, I want to share that I've been working to update my own webpage so that it not only hosts these periodic video updates and my monthly written reports to the Senate Teaching and Learning Policy Committee, but also includes a web form through which you can provide me with any feedback. This, of course, is because it is important to me that you not only know exactly what I'm working to advance on your behalf, but that you also have a way of sharing your input with me anonymously, should you wish, wish to do so. I want to close by just reflecting on how much passion for teaching and care for students I've continued to see all around me at Brock, including through the work, for example, of our recently celebrated Teaching Assistant Award recipients and the discussions this month at Senate about both accessibility in teaching and learning and trauma-informed practices. Now, of course, this care for students underscores the importance of self-care for yourself as instructors. So whether you are taking a break from the classroom or whether you're looking forward to one soon, I wish you all a very happy spring semester. Thank you very much.